Hi, now welcome to another tutorial in my series on mathematical induction where we look at proving multiplication results for matrices. And I've got an example here where we've got a matrix A which is equal to 3 minus 1, 4 minus 1. And we've got to prove that A to the power N is equal to 2N plus 1 minus N, 4N and 1 minus 2N where N is a positive integer. And to prove results like this, we normally have to show that it's true for when n equals 1. And then, if it is true, we then assume that it's true for n equals some positive integer, say k, and go on on that basis to show that it would be true for n equals k plus 1. And if true for n equals k plus 1, then because it, we've shown that it's true for n equals 1, it must be true for n equals 2. And then if it's true for n equals 2, it must be true for n equals 3, 4, 5, and so on. In other words, for all positive integers. So let's kick this off by saying then that when n equals 1. So we look at this formula here, a to the power 1. Hope that it comes down to this matrix here for a. So let's just put a to the power 1 equals well, I'd always want to show working just so I could show the examiner that I'm substituting this into here. So I'm just going to write 2 times 1 plus 1 for the first element there. And then for minus n, it will be minus 1. And then for 4n, I'm just going to write 4 times 1. And then for 1 minus 2n, 1 minus 2 multiplied by 1. So... If we look closely, you can see that we are going to get here 3, minus 1, 4, and then 1 minus 2 is the minus 1 here. So it does give us the matrix A. Let's just write that in again then. 3, minus 1, 4, minus 1. Okay, so we can say, therefore, true when n equals 1. So that's the first stage. Now we need to say that we assume it's true, assume true for n equals some positive integer, which we'll just say k. And on that basis, we've got therefore a to the power k would equal, and we just need to substitute n equal to k into here. So we know that therefore we have a matrix which is going to be 2k plus 1 minus k and then 4k and then the last term here 1 minus 2k. So there's our assumption for a to the power k. Now we look at what happens when n equals k plus 1. We've got to try and show that this is going to be true. So we therefore have a to the power k plus 1. That's going to be equal to a to the power k multiplied by a. Obviously you could write it as a times a to the power k. It's not going to matter which way round you do it. But essentially we now just carry on with that idea. We therefore have a to the power k plus 1 is equal to a to the power k, which we have assumed is this result, that it's true for that. So let's just write that in. 2k plus 1, and then minus k, and 4k, and then 1 minus 2k. Okay, now that's being multiplied then by the matrix A. 3 minus 1, 4 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 1. Now when it comes to multiplying this out, in the usual way we've just got to do rows times columns. So we'll do the top row here times the first column. That's going to give me 3 times the 2k plus 1 and then the minus k times the 4. And we add those results together. So we've got 2k times the 3, which is going to be 6k. So have 6k there. And then 3 times the 1 is plus 3. And then we've got 
minus k times 4, which is going to be minus 4k. Let's now do the top row times the n column. So that's going to be 2k plus 1 times the minus 1. So that's going to give me minus 2k minus 1. And now we've got minus k times this minus 1, which is going to be plus k. So we're now on the bottom row, first column. So 4k times 3, which is going to be 12k. And then we've got 1 minus 2k times the 4. So you're going to have 1 times the 4 is going to be 4. And then minus 2k times the 4 is going to be minus 8k. Lastly, bottom row, n column. So 4k times minus 1 is going to be minus 4k. And then 1 minus 2k times the minus 1 is going to be minus 1 plus 2k. So minus 1 plus 2k. So hope you're OK with that. Now we need to tidy up. So what have we got for each of these elements? So for the first one, we've got 2k plus 3. 2k plus 3. For the second one here, we've got minus k minus 1. Minus k minus 1. And for this one, we've got 4k plus 4. 4k plus 4. And the last one here, we've got minus 2k minus 1. Minus 2k minus 1. Now, what we've got to do is to look ahead and see what we're trying to aim for. Wherever we see an n, we expect to see a k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm, just, I'm going to just almost just write this in. Wherever I see an n, write a k plus 1 and kind of ask questions later on. Make sure that I get these results. So for the first element here, I would expect to see 2 bracket k plus 1 and then plus 1. Let's just write that in. 2 bracket k plus 1 and then plus 1. And can you see, you do get 2k plus 3. 2k and then plus 2 plus that one there, 2k plus 3. For this one, I would expect to see minus bracket k plus 1. So let's put that in there, minus bracket k plus 1. And you can see, hopefully, that when you expand that, you get minus k minus 1. For this term here, 4n, 4 bracket k plus 1 is what I would expect to see. 4 bracket k plus 1, which expands to give us 4k plus 4. For 1 minus 2n, I'd expect to see 1 minus 2 bracket k plus 1. So let's just write that in and ask questions afterwards. 1 minus bracket 2k plus 1. If I expand this out, I'm going to get 1 minus 2k minus 2, which indeed is minus 2k minus 1. So everything seems to look good. It works when n equals k plus 1, on the assumption that it's true for n equals k. So let's just wind this up like we normally do, and that is therefore if true for n equals some positive integer, n equals k, then what we've been able to do is say that it's therefore then true for n equals k plus 1. And we know that it's true for n equals 1, since true for n equals 1. We proved that at the beginning. So on that basis, it must be true for the next one up, then true for n equals 2. And if true for n equals 2, it must be true for n equals 3, and then 4, and so on. So therefore, true for all positive integers n. So we say for all n that are members of the positive integer set z with a little plus there. Okay, so there we go. Another example then of proving by induction matrix multiplication results. And uh, as usual, I hope that's been of some use to you. Do make sure that you go onto my website if you want to see any playlists for videos. There's an index there, or if you're taking a particular examination, 
it may well be featured on my website with all links to the videos for that specification.